Here we are, back in the uh, Japanese garden. For those in the know, this is the Japanese garden. <laughs> if you remember that, where the reviews used to go on. It's been a while, isn't it? We've got Gregorio here. Hello. And as I, I don't know if you saw, but the other day, I uh, mentioned I've got a new bike. You know, I've got the GX as a long-term. I did a bit of unveiling and I said, by the way, we've got another new bike coming to the channel because Gregorio has been spending some money. <laughs> this is not a long-term loan. This, no, this is, is actually bought, bought with my, his own money. This is actually my new his bike. His own money. So, so this is it. Now, we've done a few sort of, uh, we have done a comparison on one of these before, haven't we, over the years? I think more than once. More than once, I yeah. think we've done yeah, it, haven't we? Not once. recently, but no. uh, over the years we have. And this is a bike we both, we both love these bikes. We, we do. both absolutely we do. love these bikes. It is a super naked. I think we, we, we well, could... sort of. Because we don't, it's a bit contentious, isn't it? Is it a super naked? Isn't it a super naked? It's definitely got flat bars. Yeah, it's got flat bars, <laughs> it's got and, flat a, bars. and a dirty great engine. So. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is so true. I, I think, Have you guessed what it is yet? Well, you'll find out. Can you guess what it is? In a few minutes after the intro, we'll do an unveiling of Unveil. this new, what I think is a rather incredible motorcycle. This is very exciting. But that's Drop of interest. Seat. Roll the intro. Right, here we are then, Greg. Oh, the moment of truth. Here right. it is. So. Is it, oh, hang on, before you do it, everyone's like, is it an M1000R? A lot of people guessing, oh, he's oh, definitely got an M1000R. Well, actually, yeah, before we unveil it, so just to give you a bit of feedback on how I came to the decision. So the M1000R that we had uh, a few weeks ago was amazing. I loved it, highly recommend one. I decided not to buy one, but not because it was poor, just because it wasn't quite perfect for what I wanted personally. So I've gone for something a little bit similar. Um, let's just, on, let's just it, show you, let's just show you. Let's get the covers off, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> there she is. It's only a bloody Tuono. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is a Aprilia uh, Tuono factory, 1100. Well, 1077, sorry, 1077 CC, to be honest. It's in the 2024 colors. It's called Ultra Gold. Uh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit blingy. Gold on And gold. so, exactly. So I really, really like the kind of gold rims and uh, gold forks. And uh, I'll, I'll put a few extras on it already. So you've got a tasty little, uh, tasty little pipe on there, Exactly, mate. so this comes with, well, it doesn't come with, I've had the Akrapovic or the Profovic, how do you pronounce it? A, well, a crop of itch, a crop of itch. Exactly. That's the other way people say it. That's it's, it, I think. I think there's another, there's another way. Exactly. <laughs> so this has got basically the, it comes with the race map as well. So when you buy this pipe, it comes with the race map. So all the fueling's done. It also has a different link pipe and they remove, on yeah. the standard pipe, it has some servos, which kind of open and close. So at very low revs, it's quieter. This is not quiet. And yes, in my opinion, it's all rather nice. I'm obviously running it at the moment, but... Uh, yeah, absolutely loving it. It's Stuart's first service shortly, isn't it? You it is, yeah. I'm more actually, or less the running in miles. I'm, I'm, more, I'm pretty much done the first 600. Well, I have done the first 600, and it's being serviced in about a week or so. So, yeah. So, uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Exciting times. Well, it I is. think some... So, so, what's the reason for the 20? I know you... Because you love the M1000R, didn't you? I know there's... Yeah. And obviously yeah. cost comes into it as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of factors. So, I think um, I've, whenever we've had one of these to review, um, I've always really loved it and it does have some idiosyncrasies but um, but they're pretty minor apart from those it's an amazing bike the, the engine the chassis the handling in my opinion are just perfect I think for a road bike as well it's quite it's very forgiving the suspension is surprisingly compliant compared the BMW is a little bit too hard overall and it handles amazingly the BMW and I'm, I'm talking about that because it was one of the very very shortlist bikes that I was considering yeah and I actually think that this, for me, is the perfect road bike. The electronics on it now are amazing. And it just makes me smile every time I ride the thing. And I don't want to get off it when I ride it. And I think that's how a bike needs to be. You know, and for me as well, personally, I really, really like the looks. I like the fact that it's Italian. I think the Italians do know what's up, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, there's nothing about the bike I don't like. And I think, all things considered, it's pretty good value as well. 
when you look at it against the competition. I really yeah, do. I mean, these are well, 18 and a half list or whatever. A little bit less. I think they're about, I think they're about 18 one yeah, list. But, but, no, but no one pays lists on these. Very, I mean, very few people. I mean, even Aprilia now, you know, they're offering like a 1400 pound um, discount from Aprilia centrally. So, you know, you, you can get them for less than that. Uh, I won't go into what I paid, but yeah, you know, yeah. and it's still a lot of money, of well, course. The, the deals are still out there, aren't But there they? are some, still yeah. some deals out there. It's considerably less than an M1000R. It is. Yeah, even because there's not that many deals. I know no, you found, no, you, you exactly. were looking at them, you yeah, found some exactly. reasonably priced ones. And, and don't get me wrong, it's not all about the money. You know, no, no, I, no. It, was, it was perfect for me as well. You know, and I'm not gonna say it's cheap because it's not, it's the factory version. Uh, I paid a bit extra for this color because it's the latest colors and I really liked it. I thought it was sort of quite leery, but a little bit subtle. So well, I'll be really interested to see what the comments are. I mean, a lot of people, I hope, like the Tuono, but I certainly do. I've got to do a few mods to it. I want to obviously change the mirrors. Can't wait to take those off, to be honest with you. You get bar you know, ends, bar ends. I'd like some bar end mirrors. You know, it needs a little bit of carbon. So, you know, I'll obviously, over time, I'll spend a bit of time turning it into something a little bit more my own. But yeah, uh, exactly. at the moment, I'm a very happy chap. A happy man. <laughs> yeah, well, understandably. <laughs> I mean, I've always loved these as well. Yeah. And a lot of people said, you know, why haven't I ever bought one? Being a bigger guy, they're just they are they are sort of the smaller of the more compact of like the super naked. Aren't yeah, they? I guess so. And I they're guess just so. a little bit small for my great bulk, but yeah, I must say those colours in the flesh, absolutely lovely. Aren't no, they? it's a really interesting thing you say actually because I obviously seen these colours online, and I, I I sort of like just moved straight past it, and I happened to go into an Aprilia garage that's not that far from here and just to see what they had in. And they had one of these in the showroom and this isn't the actual bike, I didn't buy it from there. Um, but I just saw it in these colors in the showroom and just thought, oh my God, that actually looks really, really good. And so I have no idea what it's gonna come out like on the video now, but in the flesh, trust me, it really does sort of suit the bike, I think. Yeah. And you know, even in the first, we've done a few rides together with some of your friends and that, haven't we? And everyone was like, oh, those colors look really good. So I think, you know, I don't, I, I don't feel people are just telling you what I wanna hear. I think it, people generally like it. Yeah. It's sort of subtle, but Larry. The, the sort of gold highlights with the gold yeah. O-lins and yeah, it, look, it looks nice, doesn't it? It does look nice. It yeah, does it looks, look looks very, very, very good. nice. So yeah, so I'll probably do, I don't know how you feel about it, Chopsy, but I, you know, I'll probably do a bit of camera on board and a, yeah. just a sort of a little bit of a chat about it over the coming kind of weeks and just give you my impressions. You can hear it. I mean, do you want me to start it? Yeah, we've got to start do you, it. Do we start we've, it? We've got, we've got have we got some it. micage near the... Uh, <laughs> we've got to hear it. Say, yeah, see, I'll give it a start and you can... This is the addictive thing with this V4. Awesome, mate. Yeah, so you're going to do a little bit of uh, vloggage on it, go yeah. through a bit more about it, how you get on. The whole sort of ownership experience, really, we can exactly. go into. Yeah, yeah. So if you're interested in the, in the Tuono, you know, we'll keep this as a yeah what a long term for the channel, really. You yeah. know, and sort of follow through how Greg's get some with it during the, the ownership yeah. experience with this bike. Really, any issues you may get, all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, no, exactly. Because you know they get a lot of stick, don't they? Some people with Aprilia and reliability yeah. and all of that. I guess one of the beauties of having the factory Acre as well and the factory map is there's no remaps, is there? You've got no. perfect fueling. That's why I went for it, actually. I think it's really important that you, I think from a valve point of view, you've got to be careful you don't overheat these bikes. And so, yeah, if you get the Acre, which is an, an Aprilia approved Acre, it then comes with a dedicated map, which has been installed and it doesn't invalidate the warranty. So it's completely warranted. And I promise you, it is more than loud enough. It sounds lovely. You know, I wouldn't want it any louder than it is. And personally, I like the look of this pipe. I'm a little bit yeah. old school. Some people don't think they're a little bit too big. No, but, I love but, it. But I, I really do like the bigger pipe because yeah. it sort of takes me back to, you know, sort of like when I was younger and that. I think it looks really nice. I think they got the angle nice as well. Definitely. The angle of the pipe. Was, no, yeah. I, I really like those, especially in the carbon finish as well. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, spot on, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Don't ask me how much, please. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> worth every penny. Worth, worth every, every penny. It is worth it. It's got, you know, it's got to be done, isn't it? <laughs> so there you go. New bike reveal. Woohoo! Very excited. <laughs> I am very excited. This is not fake for the video. I am genuinely very excited. I can't quite believe I've got one. I've sort of thought about one of these for about three or four years and I finally decided to do it. And here it is. I'm very, very pleased. And we had a good ride, didn't we, last weekend, actually. Yeah, I know we're is. running it in and you're running in your GX, but we had a good long ride. And I actually, I think we did about 150, 160 miles in that day. Yeah. 
And so it's been perfect for the run in all through the country. So it was absolutely lovely. But no, at the moment, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And, you know, I, I feel like I can ride it all day as well in terms of comfort. I'm finding it really, really comfortable, which is which is a good thing, really, because some bikes after about 45 minutes, you do feel a little yeah. bit like, oh, I need a break. Yeah, not exactly. so here. Ah, gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you very much. So there we are. The mighty Tuono on the uh, on the chops fleet. Well, not the chops fleet. Chops fleet. Not the yeah. chops fleet, unfortunately. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I might get a go. Yeah. I might get a go one day. But uh, so yeah, so we'll probably do a, maybe a few more sort of naked tests and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. if you are interested in the Tuono, you know what you've got to do. Press that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, Cheers. guys. <laughs>